What's going on people of the internet? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Caitlin and today we are back with another brand new sneaker video. So if you have watched any of my other videos, you would know that I pride myself on being a baller on a budget, a sneakerhead looking for the best steals and deals for their fresh kicks, and I like to give you guys some advice and tips on how you can start your collections without going overboard on prices. But today I decided to flip the switch, as the TikTok kids would say. So today we're going to be breaking down the six most expensive sneakers that are in my personal collection. Now this is just a quick disclaimer before we dive into this video. I had previously mentioned that I have never spent more than $200 on a single pair of kicks and while that is still true to this very day, every pair of the kicks we're talking about in today's video are worth more than $200. So I just want to say they were either given to me as a gift or I was able to pick them up below retail value. We're going to be kicking off our list with the Nike Air Vapor Max 97s. This absolutely beautiful shoe, one of the favorites in my collection and an absolute staple. Got that beautiful silver up top with the red on the bottom. And it just combines the classic of the Vapor Max with the Air Max. Two of my favorite Nike shoes. When you combine them together nicely like this, it makes for a great comfortable yet still stylish looking Nike shoe. I was able to score these on Boxing Day, which is a wonderful, glorious, massive sale holiday that we have here in Canada from Foot Locker themselves. The retail value on them was $220 when I caught them, but with a 20% off discount and a $100 gift card, I was only out of pocket just over $100. So it was by far one of my best pickups and one of my favorite staple shoes in my collection. The Air Vapor Max 97s have quickly become one of the favorite shoes in my collection and an absolute staple. This is one of the few over $200 pair of shoes that I will actually rock regularly and it's just because they're so comfortable and versatile. I think that's because Nike was able to combine the Air Max 97 true style with the Vapor Max pockets underneath. Just comfortable to walk in, feels like you're walking on a cloud. Great shoe, people think they look nice, they look fresh and just about anything you rock, rock them in the summer with some shorts totally one of the best pairs that I've ever picked up. The next shoe that I want to highlight in my collection is the Jordan 1 Retro Shattered Backboard 3.0. Just an absolutely beautiful shoe in my mind with the uh, gloss that it has on them. I'm sure you can see it shining there in the camera. Just such a beautiful shoe. I originally saw these on a friend's Instagram when he was rocking them and I knew that I had to cop them. I was actually able to pick them up at a sneaker event in Toronto that I went to with my dad just before Christmas. He was looking for a Christmas present for me and and saw these bad boys, brought them over to me, asked me if I liked them. I was like, heck yes, I need those. And we were able to cop them below retail for only $2.20 at the sneaker event. I feel like the Jordan 1 Retro Shattered Backboard 3.0, I know that's a mouthful, is a true classic shoe that every sneakerhead needs in their collection. It's just so out there and retro, it's gonna stand out in your collection. And it's a piece of Jordan history. It was modeled after the black and orange jersey that Jordan was wearing when he shattered the backboard during a exhibition game in Europe way back in the day. Of course he did, he's Michael Jordan, he's the GOAT, and these shoes are one of the GOATs of Jordan 1's in my opinion. And they're actually one of the few pairs in my entire collection that I've yet to wear outside in public. So maybe we'll be doing that this summer. The next shoe that I want to highlight is one that I almost consider a steal because I was able to pick it up when the value was at an all-time low off of stock X, and that's the Jordan 11 Platinum Tint. Just an absolute beautiful, iconic shoe. Now when these first came out, I had just picked up the Jordan 11 Win Like 96s, so I was not in the market for another pair of Jordan 11s, but there was so much hype surrounding their release. I saw some people rocking it on social media. I was like, if I ever see a good deal on them, I definitely want to add them because they're just a timeless classic with that white. I also wasn't looking for another kind of white shoe because I get those dirty super quickly, but this one was a classic that I knew I had to add. Obviously, when these first dropped, they sold out super quick. There was so much hype surrounding them. The Jordan 11s have really been a hot shoe as of late, and I just checked on StockX, and the value for these bad boys is upwards of $400. So me being able to cop them for under retail was a huge bonus, but they are definitely one of the most expensive current pair of kicks in my rotation. The next sneaker that I want to highlight is one of my favorite pairs in my entire collection, one of the few sneakers that I actually have an emotional connection with, and that is because they were a going away gift from two of my best friends and this planet, Andre and Joy, if you guys are watching this video, thank you guys so much. These are by far one of my favorite sneakers, and that's the Nike Foam Posit 
one in the eggplant colorway. They were one of my first quote unquote hype expensive pair of shoes that I ever added to my collection. The three of us went sneaker shopping and Andre is actually the guy who got me into sneakers and into collecting them. And he was rocking a blue pair of these when we went out that night. And he was like, hey, whatever you want, whatever sneakers you want, my gift to you. And because he inspired me to get into sneakers, I was like, you know what? I want a pair like you have. So we went to Foot Locker. We found these guys in the purple. Purple is also one of my favorite colors, which was awesome. I tried them on, they fit great. They're super comfortable and uh, managed to walk away with these bad boys. And yeah, they are one of my favorite pairs. Now, if you look closely at the detail, you can see that I have barely worn these actually. And the reason why is just because they are one of my favorite pairs. I wanna preserve them for as long as possible. So I don't wanna beat them into the ground. They are still in the original box. I only take them out when I wear them and it's only on the nicest of days because I do have that emotional attachment to the shoe. So Andre, Joy, thank you guys so much for helping me up my sneaker game. Thank you for inspiring me to get into sneakers because I absolutely love them and sneakers are my love language now. The next pair of sneakers that I want to highlight is another favorite in my collection. No emotional attachment to this one, but it is red and red is my favorite color. I will rock just about any sneaker that is red. You can win me over very quickly that way. That is the Jordan 1 Retro Metallic Red, the 2017 version. I actually don't know how much I paid for these in retail because I was able to get them off the Nike site but I just looked up the values on StockX and there are some insane resale prices for the shoe, upwards of four and $500. So this is definitely one of the most expensive pairs of kicks in my collection. Now, because I love these shoes, I love the color red and they're an immediate head turner when you come in a shoe. I have worn them a fair amount. You can see they're starting to crease there. They are one of the staple pieces that I wear anytime I need to dress up a pair of Jordan ones. And funny story about these, I was wearing them to Starbucks at my school, went to go pick up my drink and the barista brought out another drink at the same time and hit my drink and the drink exploded and went all over my Jordan ones and I was absolutely crushed. You can still see on the laces there probably that there's some coffee stains on the shoes I managed to clean them as best as I could I got pretty much all the coffee off of them but I was absolutely crushed because this is one of my absolute favorite pairs and like I said the value on them right now is crazy high so I could not even pick up another pair if I wanted to but I'm gonna keep the OGs that I had because uh, you know what I feel like the coffee stains maybe add a little bit of character to the shoe and I do believe in wearing your kicks when you can so anytime I need to dress up a pair of Jordan ones it's the metallic red that I am copping I feel like this is another staple shoe that should be in any sneakerheads collection whether you have some of the older vintage versions or the remake like the 2017 like I do it's a classic shoe it's an immediate head turner it's great for when you want to dress up and impress some people in the sneaker world uh, I feel like it's a must-have shoe in your collection and with the resale value being so crazy high I am super glad and blessed that I was able to pick these up now the last sneaker that I wanted to include in this list is a sneaker that I don't personally have in-house because I've already flipped them but it is probably one of the most hype sneakers I will ever own which is why I'm including it in this current list and that is the off-white Chuck 70 Converse collab that I was fortunate enough to pick up off of eBay and I was lucky enough to flip them. Now at the time I was looking to cop a pair of off-whites to take my collection to the next level and was actually looking for a pair of vulcanized off-white Converse collabs but I could not find a good pair of my size so I settled for the off-white Chuck 70 collab instead. Still an amazingly dope shoe, looks fantastic but unfortunately when it came in it was outside of my uh, foot size so I had to resell them and recoup some of that money. Now obviously this off-white collab is not as hype as the Jordan 1 versions of that collab but it is still a really solid looking shoe. It's got those Converse designs. It still looks true and classic for those Converse lovers out there, but it's also got the off-white to help it step up in value. Just an overall solid shoe that you cannot go wrong having in your collection. And I was checking the resale value on it today on StockX and Goat, and there's some pairs of upwards of six and seven hundred dollars on there, so it is definitely a very hyped shoe. Kind of makes me regret flipping mine for only five fifty, but hey, you live and you learn. I was very blessed to have that shoe in my collection even for the limited amount of time I had it. And looks like that is all the time we have on today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what you think of some of my more expensive and hyped kicks in my collection. As you know, I am a baller on a budget, so I know $200 is not the most expensive price point for shoes, but I feel like it's a good starting point to start taking your game up to the next level. And as I said, a bunch of these shoes have appreciated in value, which what gives me that confidence to say they are the most expensive kicks in my collection. 
what shoes were your favorite what are your most expensive kicks in your collection i would love to know what do i need to be on the lookout to pick up just leave that in the comment section below again thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button it means a lot join the family we've got lots of room we're sneakerheads enneagram fans sports fans i don't know just come on in join the family my name's caitlin thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video